Well, we made it through another one. And this is the first morning in a long time. I woke up feeling myself. The veil's thin. And last night was devil's night. And as far as I know, Detroit's still here. And if it's not, it wasn't me. I don't remember a thing. We're in that time, this is like a Christmas time thing, you know? It's not just Halloween. It's Samhain. It's not just All Saints Day. It's Samhain. It's not just All Souls Day. It's like Christmas in October. You see, this is one of these things, Samhain, Samhain, Samhain. It's one of these ancient rites, you know, with the seasons and the holidays we celebrate. It's like, there's a time frame to it. Like the 12 days of Christmas, that's why it's leading up to, it's hitting it and it's coming away. And that's the way it is with, with Halloween. All Hallows Eve, Hallows Eve, Ning, All Hallows Evening, Halloween. Yeah, that's why there's supposed to be apostrophes in the word, in the spelling of Halloween, because it's a contraction. Yeah, it's just sucked in like an abbreviation. This is the time when when our sense of reality and the underworld, or the portal, the veil, the, the, the sheening between them that usually you only get to when you're worn out, tired, you just from work or not having uh, any sleep. You've been on video games in, in a Chinese arcade computer lab that they have and, and you're on it for hours and hours and hours. So like that one guy a few years back, he was in there like playing for 72 hours or something. He just died. You know, when you just get so worn out and hunger, you know, there's a lot of energy expended digesting food. Hunger. Well, that's how these old shaman used to, you know, chief wizards in, in communities and clans and shit would have their visions, they'd go out there. And w when you've got your mind so blocked against things, it's hard to see. But once you're getting closer to, uh, well, it could be you're just getting closer to death <laughs> and you start being able to see. That's uh, when things become aware of you and they come around and, and, and eventually it's hard to deny that something's happening. I'm not saying there are ghosts. I still have a hard time believing there are ghosts, but I do believe there's something older than humanity that uh, that just moves along the next skin of the onion, you know? We can see these things sometimes. Usually some physical evidence And so, things have been getting a little bit weird. And it's Halloween. The veil is thin. Today, you get to be whoever you really think you are. And if it scares people sometimes, 
Maybe they better pay a little bit closer attention in the future because now they know you need to be scared.